as the moon cast its eerie glow upon the dimly lit streets, I found myself entering the foreboding realm of Starbucks. It was the dead of night, and I had accepted a grueling shift, unaware of the horrors that awaited me. The door creaked open, and a chill raced down my spine, foreshadowing the terrors that would unfold within. Inside, the atmosphere was suffocating, filled with an unsettling silence broken only by the faint hum of refrigeration units and the occasional drip from a faucet. The pale fluorescent lights flickered ominously, casting dancing shadows on the worn-out tiles. As I approached the counter, an unsettling sensation enveloped me, as if unseen eyes were watching my every move. The night took on a life of its own, as if darkness had seeped into the very essence of the coffee shop. I prepared my first drink, the whir of the espresso machine echoing through the empty space, but it was accompanied by an unnerving undertone, almost as if it concealed a sinister secret. I dismissed my unease as mere imagination, chalking it up to the late hour and my tired mind. As the minutes ticked by, the air grew heavy with an indescribable presence. It seemed as though time itself had slowed, elongating every second into an eternity of apprehension. The muffled sound of footsteps outside became a foreboding rhythm, gradually drawing closer, yet never revealing their source. An abrupt chill swept through the room, causing my breath to catch in my throat. I peered outside, only to be greeted by an empty, desolate street. Confusion mingled with fear, intensifying the growing sense of dread. I convinced myself it was mere paranoia, my mind playing tricks on me in the dead of night. But the whispers, oh, those dreadful whispers. They crept into my consciousness, intertwining with the distant sounds of the city, taunting and tormenting. I strained my ears, attempting to discern their origin, but they appeared to come from within the very walls of the establishment. The voices grew louder, their words a garbled jumble that resonated deep within my mind. In a futile attempt to escape the encroaching horror, I surveyed the room, seeking refuge in the familiarity of my surroundings. Yet, my gaze was met with an unexpected sight. The mirrors that once adorned the walls now reflected distorted images, twisted visages that sent a shiver coursing through my veins. Each reflection seemed to leer at me, mocking my terror with grotesque grins and soulless eyes. Overwhelmed by an unexplainable terror, I rushed to the exit, desperate to escape the clutches of this sinister place. But as I approached the door, it slammed shut before me, trapping me within its malevolent embrace. Panic consumed me, and I could feel an invisible force tightening its grip around my throat, suffocating me with each labored breath. I screamed, my cries echoing through the empty coffee shop, pleading for salvation from the unseen horrors that lurked in the shadows. Yet, my pleas fell on deaf ears, drowned out by the ceaseless torment of my own personal nightmare. And so, I remained trapped, a hapless prisoner of the Starbucks night shift, forever tormented by the spectral whispers and haunted by the chilling presence that resides within. Beware those who venture into the darkness, for the horrors that lie in wait may consume you whole, leaving behind nothing but a ghostly echo of your former self. As I embarked on another dreadful night shift at work, a sense of unease settled upon me like a suffocating fog. The empty streets stretched out before me, their silence only broken by the distant howling of a lonesome wind. Reluctantly, I stepped inside, greeted by the flickering lights that cast airy shadows upon the worn-out furniture. I took my position behind the counter, the monotony of the late night hours weighing heavily upon me. Time seemed to crawl, each minute dragging on as if mocking my restless mind. The stillness of the surroundings only served to intensify my growing sense of dread. As the clock ticked away, a strange energy filled the air, charging the atmosphere with an otherworldly presence. 
whispers, soft at first, slithered through the empty space, beckoning me to listen. The hairs on the back of my neck stood on end as their insidious voices grew louder, melting into a cacophony of madness. Unable to resist their lure, I strained to decipher their cryptic messages. Fragments of forgotten tales and dark secrets brushed against my consciousness, threatening to consume my sanity. The boundaries between reality and hallucination blurred, leaving me lost in a labyrinth of my own unraveling mind. In the depths of my torment, the coffee shop transformed into a nightmarish maze. The walls pulsated with a sickly glow, their surfaces morphing into grotesque faces that leered at me with malicious intent. The floor beneath my feet seemed to shift and undulate, threatening to swallow me whole. Madness consumed me, and I found myself at the mercy of twisted visions. I saw spectral figures dancing in the corners of my vision, their ethereal forms contorting in an unholy symphony of deranged delight. Each step I took echoed through the void, a hollow testament to my descent into madness. With every passing moment, my grip on reality slipped further away. Laughter, both manic and despairing, spilled from my lips as I danced with my own demons. The once familiar objects of the coffee shop twisted and distorted, their shapes defying logic and reason. And then, in a crescendo of madness, the world shattered. Reality fractured into a kaleidoscope of fragmented illusions, each shard a piece of my fractured psyche. My mind, shattered and splintered, could no longer discern between truth and delusion. In the depths of my insanity, I embraced the chaos. A twisted smile stretched across my face as I reveled in the madness that surrounded me. The whispers became my companions, their words merging with the pulsating rhythm of my own heartbeat. In the end, the night shift consumed me completely. I became one with the darkness, forever lost in the labyrinth of my own shattered mind. A haunting laughter echoed through the desolate coffee shop, a chilling testament to the price paid for venturing into the depths of the night. And there, in the embrace of my own madness, I found a horrifying liberation, a freedom that only the truly insane can comprehend. As I begrudgingly embarked on my night shift at KFC, a sense of unease settled upon me like a shroud. The streets were deserted, bathed in the pallid glow of the moon. Reluctantly, I stepped into the dimly lit restaurant, the smell of fried chicken hanging heavy in the air. The familiar hum of the kitchen equipment provided a false sense of comfort as I donned my apron and prepared to face the long, solitary hours ahead. Time seemed to slow, each tick of the clock echoing through the empty space, amplifying the eerie silence that enveloped me. As I began my monotonous tasks, a chill crept up my spine, as if icy fingers grazed the nape of my neck. Unnerved, I glanced over my shoulder, half expecting to see a specter lurking in the shadows. But the kitchen remained empty, devoid of any presence other than my own. But soon, strange occurrences began to plague my shift. The friars sputtered and hissed, their oil-filled depths boiling with a malevolent energy. The refrigerators groaned, as if burdened by unseen forces. Plates and utensils clattered inexplicably, as if manipulated by an invisible hand. I tried to dismiss these incidents as mere coincidences, but as the night wore on, their frequency and intensity escalated. The air grew thick with an unexplainable heaviness, as if the very atmosphere harbored an unsettling secret. Whispers, barely audible, slithered through the space, their words distorted and indiscernible. My heart quickened its pace, pounding in my chest like a frantic drumbeat. Shadows danced along the walls, their forms contorting into grotesque shapes that flickered in and out of existence. I could no longer deny the presence that lingered, a malevolent force that seemed to feed on my growing fear. 
In the midst of the chaos, the restaurant transformed into a nightmarish stage. Tables and chairs rearranged themselves, their movements defying the laws of physics. The walls oozed with an inky substance, spreading like tendrils across the room. I stumbled, disoriented, as the floor beneath me shifted and swayed, threatening to plunge me into an abyss of darkness. Fear gripped me, its icy tendrils constricting my chest. I frantically searched for an escape, but the doors and windows remained stubbornly sealed. Trapped within the confines of this haunted KFC, I was at the mercy of the relentless terror that surrounded me. In the final crescendo of madness, reality fractured and shattered. The world warped and twisted, its distorted reflections mocking my feeble attempts to comprehend the chaos. Madness consumed me, and I embraced its alluring embrace, succumbing to the deranged symphony that echoed through the restaurant. And then, as if in a frenzied climax, the madness reached its zenith. Reality fragmented into a fragmented kaleidoscope of delusion, each shard a piece of my shattered mind. Laughter, both maniacal and hysterical, erupted from my lips as I reveled in the sheer absurdity of it all. In the end, the haunted KFC claimed me as its own. I became a permanent resident of this unholy realm, forever lost in the labyrinth of my own shattered psyche. A chilling laughter echoed through the decrepit restaurant, a haunting testament to the price paid for working the night shift. And there, in the depths of my madness, I found a twisted liberation, a freedom only the truly insane can comprehend. The haunted KFC became my asylum, my deranged sanctuary in the realm of the bizarre and macabre.